guys. It's been a long time since I have vlogged. I just got back from the mall. It's so nice to shop for myself without Malcolm rushing me all the time. But anyway, I'm on my way home now. I managed to get what I needed, like wedding bits and pieces. Just in South Africa, so I can get my wedding dress, get other bits and pieces um, for the wedding, all the nitty gritties, and then also. Sorry, I, I'm very bad at multitasking. So. And Malky's getting his visa for a honeymoon because he's on an SA passport. I don't need one, thank God, for that because visa is such a mission. Oh my goodness, it is such a mission to get a visa for UK. And then because of the whole Brexit scenario, he has to get a different Schengen visa for um, Rome, Italy, where we um, board the boat or yeah, board the ship. All good. I'm going to Kerry's house tomorrow and I'm going to spend some time with her so we'll vlog a bit of that. I know I'm so useless at vlogging but to be honest there's just been nothing to vlog about. I'll be vlogging my normal everyday life which is something that you probably won't be interested in seeing. So yeah. I'm thinking of doing vlogs for like recipes that I make since I'm quite um, you know allergic to fucking everything. I am so excited. I found gluten-free noodles at Wool at not Woolworths, just came. They are delicious. Absolutely love eating two-minute noodles. And obviously can't eat them anymore after celiac bombed my life. But these are really, really nice. So today um, I am going for my final fitting of my wedding dress. I'm so excited. I haven't seen it since. I think this time last year was when I went for fittings. No, it was even, yeah, you know, I haven't seen it for a whole year. So fingers crossed that it fits still because I didn't have my size. So it's actually a size down from my size, but it, it was all right because it's, I don't want to give too much away, but it's, it was okay. So <laughs> I'm hoping that it fits. Um, I haven't seen Bavi in so long. She's going to be here any second. So I'm excited to see her. And yeah, that's today's exciting plans. Um, who knows? You know what? You know what's so weird is when I went to go choose wedding dresses, the dress that I picked, like I said in another video, it, it's not me and it's not a dress I would have usually gone for. And now that I've checked on their page, they have the one exact dress that I was so after. So I'm thinking that if this one doesn't really fit nicely anymore, because remember, when I tried this dress on, I had different boobs. So my explant last year, um, my boobs are a different size. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping that it still fits because I really, really like it. I've got no doubts about it. But I've seen another one there that is that they've just got in their collection that I really, really, really like. So I'm hoping that maybe if this one doesn't fit, I can try that one on. But let me not get ahead of myself. Let me get there and try it on and then see what happens with me. At the bridal store, ready to do final fittings on my dress. I'm so excited. I hope it fits. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really upset and I'll probably cry. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I really, really hope it fits. Because I won't buy those because I'll never wear those again. Exactly. Like, these are not too bad. Welcome to this place called Installation. Um, so there's like nice backgrounds and check pictures. We have already finished and it's quite dark in there and very, very noisy. So I could not take you along, but I will show you some pictures later. busy we have been since being here just 
wedding stuff and running up and down and doing the last bits and pieces and getting groceries for the house because we only home for one month and then we are away so yeah it's been really hectic I haven't even had an inkling to pick my camera up because there's just nothing to update you on unless you want to follow me around macro to buy macro deals all day um but yeah I am exhausted this morning we went out for dinner with um, friends of Malcolm's last night and we got home so early at like 8 or quarter to 8 and I'm still I'm still so tired like we don't even have anything to drink and I'm so sleepy but anyway um, I am doing something very exciting today um, I'm going to meet up with Danny she's doing her course for lip tattooing lip blushing and I'm gonna be her model um, so yeah I'm driving up to Centurion just now and be her model for her course so I'm excited about that um, I've never had lip tattooing before but I've got quite a unique set of lips I guess I would say because I had a car accident and cut my lip all the way down to here from the inside um, so I've got I had it stitched up all the way here and then I've got a cyst um, I don't know, you can see there and every time they cut it out um, it keeps growing back so they just said you know what just leave it there it's never gonna go away um, technically it's gonna keep coming back so I don't want to keep getting cut open and it's just scar tissue not really a cyst it's scar tissue build up um, so yeah I'm gonna be quite a good candidate for the different types of lips there is to tattoo on so yeah I will show you my lips when they are done so this is a before I didn't get fillers um, this trip uh, I just wanted them natural for the wedding um, but I did get my Botox so I cannot frown which is not like there's one thing in life that I love is that smooth forehead like I hate those lines on my forehead and I've got a gifted forehead hey it's literally like the size of my palm of my hand so uh, yeah Botox I'm sorry call me what you want but forehead Botox is the best the best the best and then the gummy smile obviously so that I'm not like at the wedding good morning this is the day after the lip blush lip tattoo it's quite um I don't know how to explain it's quite like stiff and dry and like I don't know it's like hard to like if I try to smile <laughs> that's probably as far as I can go but um <clears throat> I ended up choosing like a bit of a lighter pigment um, than I originally planned but it's like still nice and peachy with the orange undertone <clears throat> sorry my voice um, but yeah this is day one of healing so today at half past four I'll start putting some like Vaseline on it I can't wait for a little bit of moisture in there but yeah I think Danny did such a great job I love them they're very swollen they were worse yesterday So if you're in Bulawayo and you want to get your lips tattooed, blushed, uh, you can make an appointment with Danny. Remember that this is just like the first two, three days before the healing starts. So it's going to lose 50 to 70% of its color. So it's literally just a blush for your lips. It's not lipstick. Like it's not going to look like this in a couple of days. But I really, really like it. I'm, you know, I'm, I will say it was a little bit painful though maybe a little bit more than a little bit painful it was yeah it was quite painful I'm not gonna lie Malky's mom had it and she said it wasn't sore for her but then she had 10 local anesthetic injections from her dentist before she went in um, I just had numbing creams maybe that's why <laughs> I don't know but it's yeah it's not a pain-free procedure let's just put it that way good morning everyone so Kiri and Danny are driving me somewhere which I don't know where we're going I was just told to pack a swimming costume so it's a but look how we dressed 
It's apparently a beach party and it's 11 degrees currently in Joburg, so I'm excited to see what beach party. I'm thinking something along the lines of the hot pool. We were going to take pictures, like somewhere like we went in Mossel Bay, which is like a warm pool, maybe. But we are on our way there now and I'm so excited to see. I love surprises. You wouldn't think you like surprises, but you're trying well, to get it out of us all night. I know, yeah. I, I get, I get, um, What's the word? I get eager. Over eager yeah, to know. eager, and I get like, I really want to know. Like, I get, yeah, whatever. Anxious. Yeah, I get like, oh, what is it? And I try to get like hints and try and find out. My lips are starting to peel now, but I'm excited to see underneath nicely. They're already looking nice and juicy and pink. So we've just arrived at Michelangelo Towers, so I know where we are, but I don't know where we're going. Hmm, let's see. I'll be going in the Michelangelo. Kiri. Okay, we'll see you when we get there. Oh, Michelangelo Towers. Right. Oh, we're going to Legacy Fitness. You better not be taking me to the gym. That's the last thing I want to do. Hi. Okay, so I think we are going to a spa. Oh, wait. I should have when I spoke to the gym. I'm excited to see. Is this the spa? Honeymoon the cage. It's Renaissance, I think it's called, eh? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, don't smell too much. Shane, they're all falling off anyway. Oh, they? It's much better. Yeah, it is a bit better. Ooh, we are at a spa. Oh, where did they go? Oh my god, where did they go? Man. Yeah. Okay, buddy. <laughs> so small. Now, where are we going? Just came back from the best hot stone massage. It was so nice. Can you see how tired I am? But anyway, I am going to leave this video here because I want to enjoy the rest of my spa day. And see you later. Ready to go out. Okay, we're going to Monte Cassino now. Look how nice Gary did my eyes. So we think I'm wearing a long jumpsuit and I'm christening in my wedding shoes, but I'm not gonna take the camera because I wanna enjoy my night offline. Look at my wedding shoes. I am wearing them in. Wish me luck. We are finally home in Zimbabwe. We've been back from South Africa for like a week today. Oh my gosh, it's just gone by so quick. Um, so yeah, my gran is over at the house and we're making um, ravioli. And Malky's friend, our friend Jeff is here from Dubai. Our wedding is next week. Oh, I can't believe it. Check out the lip update. It looks like I have lipstick on, but I don't. It's just the tattoo. It looks really good. I really like it. Um, yeah, wearing my new dress. How beautiful is it? Um, anyway, I am going to end this vlog here because it's going to be busy two weeks. Mm -hmm.